Got a little quote here. Folks ain't been reading their Bible. Uh, and I don't want to do this in a kind of uh, overly provocatory way. But like I said, just overly, quickly overlooked uh, subjects, man. It's like Moses married to an Ethiopian. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mo can an Ethiopian change its skin? Can a leopard change its spots? It's kind of like, look, it's kind of like, can a leopard change its spots? Look, there's a, there's a, a documentary called Leopard Vision. You know what I'm saying? And it's about this leopard beast and the characteristics of it. Real dope film. Real dope film. Uh, I love that. I love that dude that made it, man. He did that great. He killed it, man. He straight up terminatrixed it. He a brave new 1984. Uh, well, it was all up in there, man. I mean, he scientifically dismantled the game with that with that one. I think there's a uh, he's supposed to have something else coming out, like a follow up. And, and and I listen. I I wait with great patience and anticipation uh, for the for the next one. It was that good, man. And listen, like I said, man. Uh, listen, I, I've I've watched a lot of good, good. Listen, that's that's the fill in the blanks. Listen, I've read the Bible, but listen, I've listened to many, many great teachers out here, dude. There is a lot out here, even though hey, we're all off on points. My that's you know that's just how I see it. Everyone's off on points to some degrees, but yet we gotta find that core. That unites the body of Christ. Not this world, let's join one world unity stuff. That stuff is garbage. It's mumbo jumbo. Literally, mumbo jumbo. After you get down with it and you get all the way in it, you're going to be like, whoa, there's a whole lot of mumbo jumbo going on. You know what I'm saying? There's my remix right there. Lines, lines everywhere. Line. Learn what this band has been in the sky. Why every day do I keep on seeing them lines? Like that type. Of a uh, thing of my jig right there, uh, <laughs> but yeah, back to these overlooked, you know, uh, just uh, biblical points, man. I mean, it's, that's just look. This is that was real. Looking at it now, it's like, man, that how much common sense? That's just common. It's common sense. And here's another thing I realized about this too. It's like, look. See how my head's all shiny like that? Well, it comes from being bald, uh, running that razor on that piece. Uh, sucks, but you know what I'm saying? If I let my hair grow out, I'd look really, really chatty, really dorky. So I can't really get too lazy because it's like, look, it does affect the way that people look at you. You know what I'm saying? And it helps if you, if you appear... Uh, Better, man. I mean, it just works better in your favor. But I mean, then again, look, I'm not so into that appearances anymore. But it's funny because it's like the anointing someone with oil, right? It was a common practice back in the day. I mean, like, like what do they say? Oily hair keeps the lice out, right? For one. Here's another thing. The oil is another thing, particularly the Hebrew people, because they're ethnic people. And uh, like... Blacks, black people, sorry to just blab that out like that. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm not meaning to be derogatory. But they got that particular hair that, like, look, with oil, it perks up, man, in a way. And it's freaking shiny, right? And no, same thing with Indians. Indians had oily hair, too, because the same, same reasons black people did it. Indians did it, uh, basically. And uh, during, I mean, the oil, it's like oily leather. Is stronger than look than bear leather, you know, and your skin will get weathered, man, from the elements out here. So the oil is like a look; it's a layer of the defense, of protection. And and look, so many people that look, look at those greasy Mexicans. I mean, sorry to say that I didn't, I didn't say it, but I've heard this type of rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? Uh, these provocatory rhetoric, and I'm sorry I'm using it, but I'm only using it to showcase it and how it works, and it's evil. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you use it the wrong way, but if you use it to, to prove it right there, it's the only good way you can do it. It's kind of like B.E. Wise as serpents. Only time serpent is mentioned in a good context there. 
You know what I'm saying? Only freaking time. So, well, hey, what? Maybe uh, that that thing they built to stop the snakes and the staff and the snake with Moses. That's the only other time I forgot. Look, forgive me for getting ahead of myself on that uh, right there. But anyway, back to the oil. Look, see how it reflects the light and it's like shiny. It's like it's a uh, I don't know, man. It's a physical way to have like it's a transfiguration in a very carnal sense. You know what I'm saying? But it it's going to proceed that like on the Mount of Transfiguration when when they come up or like when Moses turned white. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was like these people were literally almost like catching on freaking fire. You know what I'm saying? And here, you know, they're also going to mimic this because they did it in freaking the Hunger Games with the hologram. Look, I don't know no one with no holograms. So any time you see me doing something, I ain't got no friends like that that can pull off false miracles like that. Just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's crazy like that. I mean, I don't know who's twerking the quantum computer, man, and, and dabbling in time. And then people, I can't, I can't, I don't know how, look, I can only pray for God to help me. In, in those matters, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way you can defend against that crazy quantum stuff. When you really look at it, how did the Egyptians know they could be reconstituted in the future? And look how Kemet, Black Egypt, Black Egypt, Kamisha, uh, Kemet is, had Incan uh, rulers uh, on its wall, like Egypt, hieroglyphs, like Egypt had hieroglyphs showing that they had sex of every particular race type you, uh, look the dude trey smith another great documentary dude uh biblical information uh, uh prophecy conspiracy uh woo fringe christianity type of uh real deep intellectually honest research you know what i'm saying uh but it was called noah bigger than you think i, I think is the one it was on and it was uh it showed how in the hieroglyphs, the hieroglyphs are painted different colors. And it shows five different kinds of people there. And you got one that's like a brownish color. You got a white one. You got one that's black. You got a red one and a yellow one. So, I mean, look, at that time in Egypt, they had slaves of every single race. You know what I'm saying? And the only way you could pull that off is, is actually they, they, there had to have been a network here in the Americas. And I mean, dude, it's just, it's coming out, man. It's like your lies, your house of cards is going to fall. You know what I'm saying? And the lies, man. See, uh, God really hates lies, man. And he's held back his hand for a long time. And he's let you people think you're going to get away all together with these things. And it's like, it, no, hey, it's like a house divided shall not stand, man. And it's like, so when you lie, look, something that begins in lies, has a tendency to end in lines like but an exponential more in the end than it was just in the beginning small divergence in the beginning large divergence in the end i mean and that's just therein lies there the seeds of it's sown its own seed of destruction you know just like rome did just like egypt did uh just like uh all the other empires of the world you know what i'm saying they always uh they always, their greed is the seed of destruction. That's what makes these people freaking transparent too, is the greed. You can't hide it. And once you're totally satiated with greed, what left is there to attain other than sick, wicked weirdness? Because if they, if they found goodness, true goodness and salvation, they'd probably give away their fortunes and, and renounce their power and go live a simpler life. And try to love their brother as themselves. And realize that no man should be your property. If you believe you can make another man your property. you That is rebellion. And that is like unto witchcraft. And it's also bending of reality. And it's it's usurpery. And uh, usury. Uh, oppression. Trust not in oppression. Please do not. Trust in oppression. I say that sincerely and in goodwill towards you. Trust not in oppression. 